This topic will cover Space Update. This utility is part of the Imaginative Technologies Utilities for Revit. The Space Update utility provides an easier method to make sure MEP spaces match the room names and numbers that they are associated with. In this project, I have a linked architectural model. I'm going to place some spaces in here. So from my Analyze tab, I'm going to choose under my Space and Zones panel, Space. In Properties, I'm going to check out the upper limit and change it. And then I'm going to select in these rooms without a space. And then Escape. I zoom into one of these spaces and pick on a space. Notice in Properties, under Identity Data, the room number from the link files is 3500 and the room name from the link file is Jim. Whereas my number says 206 and it says Chase. So what I like to do is match the room number and room name from the link file. I could do this manually from properties, or what I could do is I could window these spaces and then go to the Imaginate tab, the Imaginate Utilities panel, and under MEP, I have the tool called Space Update. I pick on it. From the Imaginate Space Update dialog box, you have two choices a simple update, which updates room name and numbers, or advanced update, which pulls room parameters from selected model. I'm going to choose the simple update and then pick on next. From the space update dialog box, I can update spaces with associated room name and associated room number, and then can choose from a face. I'll choose New Construction. I can apply this just to my pre-selected spaces. It shows me I have five pre-selected spaces, or all spaces on the current level, which is level first floor, or all spaces in the complete model. I'm going to choose the pre-selected spaces, and then click on Update, and then click OK. Now I'm going to zoom into one of my spaces, and I'm going to select it. Then if you notice as I scroll down in Properties under Identity Data, you'll see my number now matches the room number from the linked model and my name matches the room name from the linked model. From the Imaginate tab, Imaginate Utilities panel, under MEP drop-down, I'm going to choose Space Update. And from the Imagine It Space Update dialog box, I'm going to choose Advanced Update. Then from this drop-down, I'm going to choose the link file. And then pick on Next. Then from this dialog box, I can choose the room parameters to copy two spaces in this model. I can choose all of them, or I can just choose some of them. You can choose these by holding down your control. And then click on Next. So now this dialog box gives me my space information and my room information. I can uncheck some of these if I don't want to change these. If I scroll down here a little bit further, I have my space information my space number right now is 206. My space name says Chase. The room information says Jim and 3500 with a limit offset of this number. I'm going to go ahead and pick on Update. It tells me updated 106 spaces and I'll click OK. And now if I pick on this space Notice in Properties, it has a new Limit Offset, Base Offset, Under Identity Data, 
the name and number has changed to match my room number and room name from the link file.